Let us stand together. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to Thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. We pause now to ask God's mercy. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you raised the death dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. The Philistines gathered for an attack on Israel. Israel went out to engage them in battle and camped at Ebenezer, while the Philistines camped at Aphek. The Philistines then drew up in battle formation against Israel. After a fierce struggle, Israel was defeated by the Philistines, who slew about 4,000 men on the battlefield. When the troops retired to the camp, the elders of Israel said, Why has the Lord permitted us to be defeated today? by the Philistines. Let us fetch the ark of the Lord from Shiloh, that it may go into battle among us and save us from the grasp of our enemies. So the people sent to Shiloh and brought from there the ark of the Lord of hosts, who is enthroned upon the cherubim. The two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, were, at the ark, were with the ark of God. When the ark of the Lord arrived in the camp, all Israel shouted out loudly that the earth resounded. The Philistines, hearing the noise of shouting, asked, What can this loud shouting in the camp of the Hebrews mean? On learning that the ark of the Lord had come into the camp, the Philistines were frightened. They said, God has come to their camp. They also said, Woe to us. This has never happened before. Woe to us. Who can deliver us from the power of these mighty gods? These are the gods that struck the Egyptians with various plagues with the pestilence, with various plagues to take courage and be manly, Philistines. Otherwise you will become slaves to the Hebrews, as they were your slaves. So fight manly. The Philistines fought and Israel was defeated. Every man fled to his own tent. It was a disastrous defeat in which Israel lost 30,000 foot soldiers. The Ark of God was captured and Eli's two sons, Hophni and Phinehas, were among the dead. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, Lord, because of your mercy. Remember us, Lord, because of your mercy. Yet now you have cast us off and put us in disgrace, and you go not forth with our armies. You have let us be driven back by our foes. Those who hated us plundered us at will. Redeem us, Lord, because of your mercy. You made us the reproach of our neighbors. 
the mockery and the scorn of those around us. You made us a byword among the nations, a laughingstock among the peoples. Redeem us, Lord, because of your mercy. Why do you hide your face, forgetting our woe and our oppression? For our souls are bowed down to the dust, our bodies are pressed to the Lord. Redeem us, Lord, because of your mercy. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. A leper came to him, and kneeling down, begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with compassion, he stretched out his hand, touched the leper, and said to him, I do will it, be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <clears throat> well, my, my thoughts go towards the reading from Samuel that speaks about the Philistines and the war with it, it, the Israelites. And the Israelites are soundly defeated so what is the message that we are being given by the choice of this reading for today? And I think it is one of what I would call presumption. The Israelites just presumed that God was on their side and therefore they could never be defeated. They just presumed that they were God's chosen and therefore God would protect them and fight with them always. And I think presumption is something that happens once we become gods and God is ours and we become too complacent in our relationship. And as it happened in Israel, they began to fall away from the practices of their faith, but still considered themselves somehow or other to be special and chosen and protected. And indeed, they were not because of their their foibles and because of their lack of fidelity they end up being defeated and they are completely um, dumbfounded at how this could happen and sometimes it sneaks up on all of us this feeling of presumption that well we are faithful catholics and god is on our side and yet we individually may sometimes fail to follow what, what we are prescribed to do and our presumption that God is always with us. <clears throat> but God is always with us. It's just that not always are we correct. And so the Israelites find out that they have failed. They have failed God, not that God has failed them. That their defeat in battle has nothing to do with God's relationship with them and more to do with their relationship with God. May we always be faithful to our relationship with the Lord, and may we do so by always examining our own relationship with him and how faithful we indeed are, as he is always faithful to us. Let us stand to pray. <clears throat> With earnest hope, we bring our needs to the Lord, trusting that he hears and answers our prayers. 
that the church will continue to grow in holiness as she works to build God's kingdom here on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that warring nations in every corner of the earth may be led by the Holy Spirit to strengthen their, strengthen their efforts for finding peace between them. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord that those whose lives are darkened by the shadow of sin or doubt may be drawn into the light of forgiveness and peace let, through the grace and mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord that the, this faith community may be fertile soil that bears good fruit after hearing the word of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for those that those who have died may find peace and rest in our Lord's loving care in the heavenly kingdom, most especially for Helen Deal being remembered at this mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For whom else shall we pray? For Kimberly Williams, a 63-year-old who is in the hospital with, from a massive heart attack, and they don't expect her to live. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For my sister, Sister Miriam Francis, who is transitioning now into the nursing home, we pray for her that she is okay. That she yeah. does. Okay. <laughs> for peace to come to the to Ukraine and to Gaza and to Israel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Lord, good and gracious God, hear us who ask thee these things and all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore us to holiness and obtain what we devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. You lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Amen. Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but they profit us for salvation through Christ the Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Who <laughs> comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially Helen, remembered at this Mass. Welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. In confidence, we pray now in the words our Savior taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and ever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body and blood of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body and blood of Christ. The body of Christ. The body and blood of Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Humbly we ask your, you almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve you with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Amen. 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 We'll sing the second verse of number 207. Holy, 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 all the saints adore thee, casting down their golden crowns around the glassy sea. Cherubim and seraphim falling down before thee, which were ten tall.